Welcome, in front of me is a dodgy Fire 7 and today I will show you how can record a screen on this device. So, to get started you will want to swipe down from the top of your screen. Now, just a quick check and you will need to do it from the right side as that's where we have our toggles. If you do it from the left, you get the notifications. Now we're interested obviously in the toggles. From here, look for the screen recorder, which for me is somewhere. Oh, there we go. It's right here. Uh, it's just kind of cut out for the most part. So it looks like this. Now, if you don't see this toggle anywhere, uh, you might need to add it yourself. So you can do that by clicking right here on this pencil. And Next, we're going to scroll down and right here below this text will be all the toggles that are turned off or just not visible in the initial list when you swipe down. So you can add them by holding them first and you will see that the text right here changes. And when it changes, you can drag it to the top, drop it. And when you go back, this toggle should be available to you on one of the pages. So once you see your screen recorder, we can tap on it. Apparently, we can't hold it. So it looks like there's no additional settings for it, unfortunately. Uh, but anyway, once you tap on it, you get this pop-up and you can choose if you're gonna be recording a single app or the entire screen. For the single app, you will need to have that app open. Anyway, next, once you select either one with the entire screen having additional option, uh, you can choose what audio will be recorded. So we have device, microphone, or both. And obviously if the toggle is turned off, it's not gonna record any audio, no matter what you selected. And second option is show touches on the screen. Uh, this is the one that shows up after you select the entire screen. I'm gonna enable this just so you can see how that looks like, but it will record a semi-transparent gray dot wherever your finger was pressing the display. So now we can just select start recording. This begins a three second countdown and then gives you a notification that it's recording. There we go, there's the notification. And whatever you'll do right now will be recorded. Now I do want to record something that is probably not available right here. Yep, and it looks like it doesn't come with this device. So you know what, I'm just gonna open up something like Chrome, just as an example. And while I'm here, I'm gonna also just kind of move my finger just so you can see this dot later on on the recording. And once you're done, Recording, you can pull down your notifications this time around, actually. There we go. And click on the stop. This will stop the recording and automatically save it into your Photos application. Now, before I go into that uh, application, I do want to quickly talk about, I was looking for other application that will typically come pre-installed with most devices like Spotify or Netflix. And the reason I was looking for this is because I wanted to showcase a specific uh, limitation to a screen recorder. Now it's a feature of Android that basically is designed to protect the privacy and security of the user. And best kind of use case for this kind of option is with bank applications. If you try to screenshot bank application or screen record it, you will notice that you can't take a screenshot nor can you record it. The recording will look like it's recording, but when you play it back, you're gonna have a fully black screen with nothing visible on it. This is designed so if you have some kind of malware on your device, it won't be able to gain the info of like how to log into your bank application. And you can imagine how that is very beneficial to you. But where it's not beneficial to you and uh, honestly doesn't make sense is for Spotify or Netflix or any other bullshit streaming platform. Uh, these uh, cunts do this because money. Let's not kind of sugarcoat this. It's, it's primarily money. And because that's their way of kind of stopping privacy by completely blatantly abusing and innovating your device and your privacy, I consider this to be an absolute no-no. So because I just absolutely despise these mother efforts, uh, you know what, I'm gonna be such an amazing person that I'm gonna tell you what you can do is download something like, uh, I can see right here, Cloud Stream, which is visible, or visible, which is available on GitHub, and it would fully substitute your uh, Amazon, or not Amazon, what am I saying, uh, your Netflix or any other streaming platform, and uh, 
it's going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek. Uh, if I just start scrolling down, there we go. So we have popular right now. Uh, we have airing Netflix, Amazon, Disney, Hulu, Apple TV, HBO, Paramount, Peacock, and so on. Uh, all these actually will use this bullshit. Uh, so because all of them use this, I have no problem just uh, doing this right now. Because when it comes down to blocking your screen, you never get asked about it. You might not even own an account and for some of these streaming platforms they come pre-installed on your device so neither have you installed it nor have you created an account nor have you uh, agreed to it being installed or privacy policy or whatever other bullshit uh, this trash never even asks you for permission to do this and yet it's going to do it so because they don't want your permission I'm not gonna ask their permission to basically uh, show you different ways to watch their content fully for free and all you will actually need to do when you download the cloud stream is go into the settings right here extension and then add a repository called mega mega repo and from there you would be looking for a hexated repository that's the one that i'm using which is the uh once you add it you can find later on in that repository by clicking on it just to kind of show you show you this you can click on it and here you would be wanting to download one that is called Sora Stream. That's the one that I'm using and it's the best one. That's the layout where it is from. And for people wondering, is this piracy? No, not really. It's basically equivalent to a web browser that is uh, scanning uh, whatever websites for this kind of content. So it's as much of a piracy as if you were to look on your web browser and search on Google for uh, watch online Stranger Things free or some shit like that. It's basically the same thing. It's just the application is designed to kind of show you this in a cohesive and uh, nice kind of way. Easy to look at wherever you're looking for with just sorting to it. So anyway, uh, now with that rent out of the way, uh, we can move over to our photos. And uh, no, we don't want to update this. And in here, you're going to click on these three bars right here. If you don't have the option for albums, actually, I don't have it anywhere. Well, that's interesting. Oh, okay, so uh, I don't have enough content visible in here, so it's actually showing me all the albums right here already. Typically, that would not be the case. You would have uh, your albums or whatever additional tab visible, kind of like I'm, when I clicked on the search, it shows up right here with a couple of the suggested ones. But this should be a separate tab. And in that separate tab, you would be looking for, let's see, screenshots, is it? No. Oh boy, that might be a little bit more annoying to find uh, because, oh, there we go, it's in Movies. Okay, found it. So you can see there is an album called Movies and in here you'll find the screen recording that I have captured. Now that weird dot that you're seeing is where my finger was pressing the display. And like I mentioned, if you encounter any kind of application that you can't install what will happen when you open it up is you will just have a fully black screen nothing visible on it as long as the application that is blocking you uh, is open uh, you're not gonna see anything of that application the moment you close it it would just kind of go back and uh, you wouldn't see normal your for instance home screen or whatever um, but on this device I don't think there's any kind of pop-up letting you know that you can't record an application as some devices do have this so before you spend I don't know whatever time recording what you think you can record first make sure that you actually can record it uh, and that the application isn't uh, being a piece of shit and just blocking you for no reason so anyway with that being said I hope you found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching